Is that a Ratopia? Dantopia. We can deactivate the tutorial, which I love that feature. We're going to keep it on for now, just that way if it's something that, again, I'm missing in terms of information, I can, of course, uh, check it out. Wonder how long I've got. Finally, those assassins seem to be given up. My loyal subjects are all gone, too. I guess I'll have to stay here and brace myself. Perhaps this place might become the new home. Aww. Can't see nothing. Can't see nothing to you down on the Muppet. <coughs> Pardon me. Aww. Damn, they're efficient. Your Highness, how was your condition? Uh, Okay, so that's pretty cool, too. This is very fucking cute. Oh, God. Oh, God damn it. Uh, can I turn off the tutorial? I think I understand how to play the game now. Oh, it just, it's like they stop you, too. They stop you completely in a dry... That's what, one of my hugest pet peeves in a tutorial game. In, in any game. Okay, that's pretty cool, too. You can use the left bumper to toggle between items. Okay, I, the tutorial is now driving me fucking crazy. I gotta turn it off. I, I automatically figured out how to play this, so... Can I turn off the fuck? Can I turn off the fuck? Mm -hmm. Okay, I gotta turn that to try. I figured the game out in like two seconds, so I, I know how to play it. Like it's again, the certain if I see certain mechanics, I can automatically connect to how to play it. It ain't nothing against chessel games. It's just I can kind of figure out how to play it now, and it's like it drives me those type of things. The tutorials they drive me crazy. Okay. And say so at first I'm like, all right, maybe I might not know something, but I it kind of showed me. Okay, you can use right analog click. Okay, I got it now. I I know how to play this. So it's, it's, I just sort of like just want to dive into it and just play it, because otherwise you're stopping me and that drives me nuts. Like if I have to constantly stop and do shit all the time, like literally halt my progress, I get, it drives me insane. Oh no, I stopped doing the tutorial. I got sick of that shit. I like that fact you could turn it off before you start the game too. Like, it insults my intelligence otherwise. Now, for those who don't know what the fuck they're doing, it's great. But uh, for myself, I kind of figured it out. I was like, I, before it even fully explained it to me, I was like, oh shit. I hit the X button, my mistake. You'll live.
Like, yeah, it's my hugest pet peeves in games. Like, I don't get me wrong. It's like tutorials for those who don't have never played this type of game. Awesome. It's fantastic. Like, I don't I don't give them shit for having this tutorial. I just don't want to use it. Because these type of games, I played so many of them now. I'm kind of figuring, you know, I mean, I kind of have the idea, gist of it. Someone who never played this type of genre. It's awesome that they can have this option to uh, be able to actually learn about it through this uh, tutorial. But for my, again, it's sort of like you already know how to play. Say, for example, you play a game exactly like um, like Creativeverse. It's like you already kind of know how to play that, so you don't really need another tutorial to figure, like learn it. And the game's intu uh, intuitive enough, you don't quite need a tutorial. Like, you could just... If it explains it visually, it just, it just works. Uh, manager... Research... Storage... Bed... We already learned that. We already learned that. Okay, so we need to build. Oh, look at her sword. She's so angry. Fight, girl, fight. Get him. So cute. All right. Okay, we need to start building, though. Base, uh, dirt block? Oh, we need dirt dirt. Okay. There you go, so tiny. There you go. Press B to jump. Uh, do we have a stamina bar? Let me check. Thank everything, there is no fucking stamina bar. 10 out of 10. After a while, I've kind of gotten sick and tired of stamina bars in certain type of games. Like, in simulation games like this, I hate stamina bars. If you're like, you're tired, you need to sleep, it's like, fuck. Otherwise, I turn that shit off. Like, it dry... It, anything that stifles my progress, I... I am not a happy bunny. Like, it's one thing to have, like, gaps or barriers where you have to unlock something by learning something. That's one thing. But if you're like, no, you gotta learn this before you can move forward. No, that drives me nuts. Get that the fuck out of here. Like, if you're telling me, if I already know what to do and you're telling me I gotta do it, prove it to you, it's like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm more than good. Because it's like, if, that, if it's like 45 minutes of me doing that constantly, I just have no interest in the game anymore. But this here, it's like they have a beautiful blend of you don't have to do that, which is great.
Okay. That's pretty cool. As long as you grab the materials from a source, then you can put it... Okay, that's pretty cool. You need to grab it. Okay, that's pretty awesome, actually. I like this. So ground is built out of dirt. So we'll work symmetrically of what we're trying to do here. Can't hold any more. I wonder if you can upgrade that over time. We need a sawmill. We need a. a uh, gathering camp. Base. We got storage. And then, what was the last bit? Oh, a log. Easy peasy. Well, it's like we don't technically need sleep, but our our citizens would. Okay. Need two more. Building in this is really good. Need two logs. Really fun. Like, this is actually pretty fun. Now, I'm trying to pull myself too deep into too many building games. Achoo! me! Oh, there goes my back. Oh, that hurt. I'm currently playing a lot of uh, Nova, so I'm trying to hold myself back from too many or too many of these type of games. But however, I'd play the hell out of this. Like, really good, like, just the interface with the controller is pretty good, too. Like, they thought about everything in terms of uh, different players of different preferences.
Not enough resources and storage. There's plenty. Oh, the re okay. So the count has a reserved for the um. Gotcha, gotcha. Wow, that's actually really... In There's a lot of depth behind this game, deceptively. Wow. This is... This is a... This is a very impressive game so far. If I don't see this one popular, I'd be very surprised. So there needs to be two tile in order for the character to move through. Yeah, it's like, again, it's sort of like it feels like a glove. Like, if you can play a game and it feels like a glove, the games you've played prior, then it's like, it, it, it's more just then boils down to how is it translate in terms of like a quality game? Like, is it something that, is it as good as you play to other games? And if it's not as good, then, you know, you can kind of go from there. And so far, this one just has like a really top-notch gameplay. There's a way to get rid of, uh, or take down trees quickly. Some of them like it raw. Alright, so we need to build... Yep, we definitely need a toilet so we can poop. Oh, we need rock. We also need to get some dirt in for that. Music is very pretty. some of this back. Yeah, again, if I could get a copy of this at some point, I would lo absolutely adore playing this. Uh-oh. 
Oh shit. Um That happened. I'm stuck. Help! Help! So, that right there... <laughs> Makes you have a means of climbing back down, because I, I did not know- I do not know how to break tiles, so... And plus, I was kind of playing too long anyway. I made that an excuse to kind of uh, push back playing too much. As an excuse. <laughs> So like it's, it's just an excuse so that way I can kind of move forward because I'll keep playing that for like a long time and that's not a good thing. But yeah, that is Radopia. Again, if you like what you saw with the game, you thought it looked good, looks fantastic. It also lets you save your progress as well. So again, you can enjoy the demo as much as you can until eventually it drops. I'm assuming. Let's get our next at that. So again.